orgasmic proportions. If dynamic picks could speak. What's up, boys, and a very happy Monday to everyone out there. Hopefully, we are getting off to a sick start to the week. Uh, EA decided to put out an interesting looking card. Now, my first impression, given the fact that this requires four informs, was a damn. This is probably going to be a really expensive squad. However, it only requires 83 rated uh, squad. So, if it was an 84 or 85, you know, if it was two 84s, that would be a lot more expensive uh, than two 83s. This comes in just under 100,000 coins. And for just under 100,000 coins, what do you get? And you guys know I love this particular stat in Liga Santander, one of the best leagues in FIFA in terms of attacking players and just you know, just overall just a very, very crazy, uh, uh, crazy league. He comes in third total in-game stats among all left mid and left wingers right behind that 86 Koke. Obviously, he's got his uh, stats jacked off because uh, he is an ultimate scream card and has 299s. Vinicius Jr., 92 Future Stars card is the only other card that is ahead of that Gonzalo Guedes card. Uh, he instantly turns into one of the one of if not the best I would make the argument that he is the best left wing left forward left mid whatever you want to call it card in Liga Santander now for 90,000 coins with a couple decent packs I think you can make a very solid argument that this is a very worthwhile card to do now I'm not going to say that right now uh, given based on the price and w what his total in game stats are and everything like that I would say go ahead and do him just because like I said 90,000 coins is very cheap and if you run a Liga Santander side you're putting in the best left mid left winger outside of maybe an icon if you already have it but we're going to delve into the episode if you guys want a Marcus Lorente Giroud striker up top combined for 93 pace and is combined 12 foot 6 inches drop a like on the video and I'll upload that as the first upload tomorrow but anyway boys if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below but like I said boys looking at Gonzalo Guedes turns into a 91 rated striker with the marksman chem style turns into a 91 rated left forward as a uh with the marksman chem style and what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare him not to his, uh, we're going to compare him to his 84 man of the match card, and it is a very significant upgrade. It is over 100 total in game stats. He gets 468 over 445 on his key stats. He goes plus four pace, he goes plus three shooting, uh, he goes plus five passing, and then dribbling goes up plus two, and then physical goes up plus two as well. So he gets some very, very significant stat upgrades. The most emotional part of this card, and my Portuguese guys out there right now, you, you guys would have seen the Joe Felix episode on Saturday, and one of the main driving reasons why I've done this card is because we do get to link him into his ex, Benfica. I don't know if they played at the same time because Joe Felix is like 13 years old, uh, but uh, a Benfica, a Benfica mad lad. But we're going to get into a couple matches. Most importantly, we're going to see... Uh, if he is actually worth, uh, worth the 90,000 coins. Now, sub 100,000 coins, like I said, for the third highest total in-game stats of any left mid, uh, left wing, and left forward in Liga Santander, which is one of the big leagues, is, uh, in my opinion, as of right now, would probably be worth it in terms of value. But we'll see what the pack return. We'll also see how he actually plays in the match. Let's get into match number one. Los Kids. What happens when you that's what happens when you talk shit about Coutinho. Yo! Portugal stand up! That was a sick play right there, bro. It all started with the all started with uh, Gonzalo Guedes. What are we gonna call him? GD, the general practitioner. GD kicks them, uh, kicks things off. Joe Felix gets uh, gets a couple touches on it, and then Bernardo Silva, the absolute lad with the thunder strike. Who knew he had that in him, bro? Let's go, dude. 87 Bernardo Silva, man. Servi with support from Alex Grimaldo to pick up Joao Felix. Joe Felix. Please put that through, please put that through! Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Uh, I honestly, I, I thought I'd seen it all over the years, but uh, I mean, it's a great run. Fantastic run. He's onside by miles, and you think that's great. Great feet round the keep.
keep trying. Oh my god, Joe Felix, that was onside. First half impressions, blazing fast, very good agility, had that really, really bad miss. So that left a little bit of a sour taste in her mouth, and I think that might be one of the new <laughs> catchphrases on the channel. I think I've said that like a million times in the past three or four days, but um, Joe Felix missed an opportunity. Uh, Gonzalo Guedes missed an opportunity. Bernardo Silva's been brilliant for us. He's special. Yes. Joe Felix! It's too short. Keep trying. Keep trying. Yikes. Keep trying. Yikes. Keep trying. Oh my god, Courtois! Yo! Yeah. Fanta drop. Fanta. Keep trying. Fanta. Manigos TV. Abuzet. Chile. Please. Keep trying. How do we not? Keep trying. So keep trying. Keep trying. Bruno, keep trying. How have we not scored our second goal? Six of those shots on target were like high quality, high quality shots on target. And somehow he either had a defender in front of it or just something really, really fluky happened. Match number one, no one really, outside of Bernardo Silva, no one really stepped up to the plate there. Dude, that was a very disappointing match. I feel like luck... I would never, I never, you guys know me, I don't really attribute luck to, to having a poor performance, but I feel like that was probably one of the more unlucky games that we've played so far. Match number two, and he's got that 84 Gonchalo Guedes, he's got the 86 Ultimate Scream Costa, and an 89 uh, Foot Champs Gerard Pique, who we're going to try and embarrass, who's actually going to be, Keep trying. I think, matched up perfectly. PK's got his number. Keep trying. Ah, damn it. So, not complete, clear completely though. Here's Geddish on the edge of the area. Plays a one-two, it's on there, Geddish oh, it is. Hey, there we go, top right. And that is exactly what you're looking to do with this card. Use his pace and dribbling. Uh, going up the left or wherever you want to play him really cut in and then use that distance shooting which he has we absolutely turn who is that is that uh, was that Nelson Samado we turn Nelson Samado into a freaking magic trick what? this is not just a dream it's a wet dream <laughs> he embarrassed keep trying we almost just had one of the most amazing Embarrassing PK moments in channel history with Gonzalo Guedes. Not only it wasn't even the body faint, dude. Please, someone make up for it. He's got the agility. He's body faint approved, boys. Serve with support from Alex Grimaldo to pick up Joao <laughs> Joe Felix. The youngster, and this is 87 dribbling. You know, it's not like the it's not the best dribbling ag uh, agility stats, and I, I can do it with him. Yikes! It's a good goal. I'm not gonna take anything away from that. <laughs> Diego Costa with a 99 pace, 99 shooting. I think Bates had a Bates did a draft with that Diego Costa card. What a lad! <laughs> if you want a card that's going to hit the post five times a game, this Gonzalo Guedes card is your guy. Shots on target. Literally, I think three of those four hit the post. When Gonzalo Guedes is running at his, at his peak, this is exactly what you want to do. You want to use that agility. You want to cut in like Aryan Robin would do with his other foot. And you want to bang it in over PK, and there's not a keeper in the world that's saving that. Uh, Joe Felix's goal was a thing of beauty. It was a body faint masterclass. One, two, and then he's gone. 
<laughs> Yo, show for an 84 rated card. That's incredible finishing for a uh, for like an 18 year old player. Look at that. We make Messi disappear. We make, I believe, Mateo. We make Mateo disappear. And then we put it back, uh, Sergio Senho. The two of them exhibited, obviously, what they're known for, and that's the agility. Um, Joe Felix more with the finishing. I was expecting, I was expecting Gonzalo Guedes' finishing to be a little bit more elite, but uh, alas, it was not. We, we we missed a couple chances right there. That was the game winner right there that hit the post, and then Joe Felix followed it up with another post hit. So I think we're up to like five or six uh, post hits in literally two matches played, which could have swung the Epis, which could have swung the results of the Epi either way. So, um... We've got the updated price, which is 115,000 coins. So for 115,000 coins, it said 90,000 before, but now it's up to 115. I would still say he's worth it. I know he didn't light it up in this epi, but you get a mega pack and you get a rare Electrum players pack. And for 115,000 coins, you get arguably the best left, mig, um, best left mid, left winger, or left forward in Liga Santander. We get a board there. And is it going to be Pepe? It had to be. It had to be Pepe. You get yourself a Gonzalo Guedes, used to play for Benfica. You get yourselves a Porto Pepe in a pack. So not, not bad right there. 85 Pepe. I think he's going for at least 10,000 coins. And then also a rare Electrum players pack. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to give it a percentage, but I am going to give it a thumbs up because... 100,000 coins for, like I said, the best left mid, left wing, or left forward in Liga Santander definitely is worth something. And I think he's probably worth around 100,000 coins. So he's going for 115. A lot of you guys are going to be able to do him for cheaper. And uh, some people think that this is dead. Some people think that this uh, particular card was dead. But this is the sort of card that I really love. Not like super high rated. 87, obviously a high rated card. But uh, a very big upgrade from his base 84 man of the match card. So in my opinion, enough upgrades to warrant paying for 100,000 uh, paying 100,000 coins for it. And like I said, a thumbs up for me. And you guys saw what he did in the epi. He hit the post like five or six times, but you know, give me two more matches. Good chance that those are going in. Same thing happened with Joao Felix. So um, not a victory in either of, two, either of the two matches, but got very close and created a lot of goal scoring opportunities. But anyway, boys, if this video has helped you figure out whether or not you want to do this Gonzalo Guedes card, drop a cheeky like on the video. Again, support is always appreciated, boys. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your Monday. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.